Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, I'm going to install the Image Optimizer by Elementor plugin. It will help you compress, resize and optimize images. This plugin is not only for the Elementor website, you can install this plugin on any other website and you can compress and optimize the images on your WordPress website. This is a free plugin. However, there are some limitations using this free plugin. Here you will see the free trial and in this free trial, you will get 250 50 image credits for optimizing one image you will be using five credits so in total you will be able to optimize 50 images in the free trial if you have more images you can go for the paid plan that will be optimizer 5k and it will be 49 dollars and 99 cents per year in this you will get 5000 image credits which will be equal to 1000 images and the next plan is 99 dollars and 99 cents per year in which you will get 20,000 image credits which is equal to 4,000 images. So using these paid plans you can optimize more images. So I'm going to install this plugin and I'll show you how this plugin is going to optimize the images, how it will reduce the file size of your image and it will help you improve the speed of your WordPress website. So basically you need to optimize the images to improve the page speed of your website. I'm also going to compare this plugin with Smush plugin, which is again an image optimizer plugin. So I'm going to see if I compress the image using Smush free plugin, what will be the result? So let's go to the dashboard of the WordPress website. Here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm using Elementor hosting services for this website. I have Elementor and Elementor Pro plugin installed on this website. So now we are going to install the image optimizer plugin. Click on add new plugin. So first go to plugins, click on add new plugins and here search for image optimizer by Elementor. This is the plugin. Click on install now and click on activate. All right, so the plugin is installed and it is activated. Here you will see media. Under media, you will see image optimizer. Click on it. Now, in order to use this plugin, you need to connect this plugin with your Elementor account. So you will need to create an account on Elementor website. If you already have Elementor account, you need to connect the account with this plugin. So I'm going to click on connect to start. I already have account on the Elementor website as I'm using Elementor hosting services. So I'm going to connect that account. Click on connect. All right, so the account is connected. Now it says there is no license available. So I'm going to click on get a new license or new subscription. Your free trial starts now. So I'm going to click on try it out. It's free. So I have created a free account for the image optimizer. Click continue and click on pay now. All right, so it says thank you for your purchase. Download the image optimizer. We have already installed it. So let's go back and let's refresh it. And click on activate my license. This is a free trial. So here you will see that we have 250 credits remaining. Now let's go to the settings here. These are the basic settings. Subscription status is free trial compression level is lossy or lossless so right now it is set to lossy however you will see that the quality of the image will not be compromised after compressing the image now here it says optimize new upload so whenever you upload a new image it is going to optimize the image automatically resize large images and this is the maximum size clear exif metadata backup original images so it is going to backup the original image also and it is going to convert the image to webp format so this is a new format of the images then we have file optimization all sizes so it is going to optimize all size files advanced actions is not required all right so these are the basic settings let me go to media library here and on this demo website, I have 71 media files. So I'm not going to use credits to optimize the images here. So I'm going to upload a new image file and we will see how it is going to optimize the image. So let's click on add new media file. Select the file. I have one stock image from pexels.com and this is the size of the file 1.99 MB. So it is approximately 2 MB file size. So I'm going to select this one, click open. And now it is going to upload the file. And this is the image. 
and you can see that the file size of this image is reduced to 576 KB from 2 MB to 576 KB which is approximately 25% of the original file size and you can see that the format of the file is still JPG. So let's close this. So currently it has scaled down the image that we have uploaded. However, it has not changed file type to WebP. It is still using the .jpg. Now here you will see another option bulk optimization. So you can select the images and you can optimize all those images. All right, let's go back. And this is the image. If I go down, you will see the status is optimized. Size is optimized is 11. Overall saving is 37%. Re-optimize. If you want to re-optimize, you can re-optimize or you can restore to original. And now this is the file type of this image. You can see that it is using WebP. And the file size is reduced to 156. So the original file size of this image was 2 MB and now it is reduced to 156 KB, which is less than 10% of the original size. So definitely the file size is reduced and it is going to help you increase the speed of your WordPress website. Now I'm going to use the same image on another website where I have the Smush plugin installed. So let's go to the other website and here you can see that I have the Smush plugin installed. This is the free version of the plugin. This plugin also has the pro version and the pro version will cost you around $15 per month. So it will be $180 per year for single website. So the pricing of the pro plugin is higher as compared to Elementor Optimizer plugin. Let's go to the media library and click on add new media file. I'm going to select the same file again which is approximately 2 MB file size. Open and upload the file. And let's see how the Smush plugin performs. All right, so the image is uploaded. Let's click on it. And you will see that the file size of this image is reduced to 576 KB, which is approximately similar to what we got in the Elementor Optimizer plugin. However, in Elementor Optimizer plugin, this file is again converted into WebP format and the file size again reduced down to 156 KB. Now in this free plugin, we do not have an option to convert the file into WebP format. In order to use the WebP format, you will need to upgrade the plugin to the pro version, which is going to cost $280. And there is no limitation on number of images to optimize in the Smush Pro plugin. So you can optimize unlimited images using the Smush Pro plugin. However, there is a limitation if you are using the image optimizer by Elementor. But if you compare the pricing of the Smush Pro plugin and the Elementor Optimizer plugin, pricing of the Elementor Optimizer plugin is approximately $50 a year. However, the pricing of the Smush Pro plugin is $180 per year. So if you are using 1000 images, then the Optimizer 5K plan will be the better option for your WordPress website. And if you have multiple WordPress website, then in that case, you can connect all your WordPress websites into the single subscription. So you do not need to create multiple subscriptions for multiple websites. Let me know in the comments which plugin will be the better option, the Image Optimizer by Elementor or the WP Smush Pro plugin. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.